Hello, my good people. I was kicked off for some weird reason, and uh, I'm not really sure. It looks like the enemy doesn't want this word to be released, but I shall release it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, um, uh, this is a word for the teachers. Um, I don't see much teachers, and, and I don't hear much about the, the teachers' ministry. And I want to see more of the teachers in this hour. And I believe God wants to see more of his apostolic teachers that come coming forth in this hour. Uh, we don't hear much about the, the ministry of the teacher. And I want to call forth the teachers in this hour, in the season, the apostolic teachers, because I believe what God does in different seasons, he allows uh, uh, the prophets, he allows the fivefold uh the, the prophets, the apostles, to call them forth, to wake them up out of their slumber. And I believe a lot of teachers are slumbering. A lot of teachers that are after the heart of God, that have the heart of God. And I'm talking about not just teachers in uh, education. I'm talking about not teachers in that, uh, 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 in the capacity of where you just teach in schools, but I'm talking about teachers in jobs, teachers uh, in, in, in the workplace, in the marketplace. I'm talking about teachers of all capacities and every level of the, of the mountain, every, uh, all the seven mountains, teachers. So I want to call forth the apostolic teachers, the teachers who equip, the teachers who train, uh, uh, and, and many times we have Saul's who are in those positions who don't want to teach, who don't have the capacity to teach. And many times that's what we encounter on our jobs and those different arenas. We have people who don't want to uh, uh, train other people, who don't want to train them to their best, to be the best. And I've encountered so many people of where they've tried, they've, uh, was, they were, um, having to teach and train me and they wouldn't train me properly they wouldn't train uh they wouldn't train me um uh, uh they wouldn't teach me everything there is to teach me and i would end up having to uh learn other things myself not saying that's a bad thing but i'm saying if you're put into a position to where you teach and you don't feel like you want to do it. You don't feel like you uh, want to train. You are bitter. You're filled with envy and jealousy and wrath. You can possibly be a Saul and you're in the wrong place. But I want to do my my position right now is to call forth those apostolic teachers, those who have the capacity to train, those who have the capacity to teach and release and want to equip, okay, the fivefold, the body of Christ, who wants to teach God's word in and out of the marketplace, who want to teach teach okay who want to teach and 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 teach the word of god and not just teach the word of god but teach in the marketplace and business and government i'm talking about real teachers real teaching the teachers ministry have been kind of stifled and and i want to wake it up i want to wake up the slumbering teachers who don't feel like you have a place who don't feel like you 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 know you're being acknowledged but you are god is calling you forth in this hour and this is a season where the apostolic uh the apostolic teachers are rising in this hour and i believe god is doing much for the apostolic office and for the apostolic so god i believe god is making corrections or improvements to what we know as the apostolic and the apostolic office. I believe God is changing that paradigm so because the body of Christ is shifting so uh, 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 just so dramatically. We are shifting. It's sh we're shifting everywhere to the point where from the top of the government to the bottom in neighborhoods and communities and cities, we are shifting dramatically. And I believe that this uh, the apostolic is shifting as well. And, and many people you will begin to see something so different that you won't even think that it is an apostle. You won't think that it is an apostle because, and, and I believe it's Saul, uh, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, um, Paul, excuse me, Paul, when Paul stepped on a scene, he was transformed on the road to Damascus. He was he was so different that the, the the apostles and those people there in his day couldn't even recognize that he was an apostle. Those who uh, who were apostles, they didn't even recognize that Paul was called to be an apostle, and he was having to defend his apostleship. So I believe in this hour, God is raising up uh, a different type of apostle that people won't even think are apostles. You know, and, and that's why I think the paradigm needs to change and shift. 
That's why I think the paradigm, the body of Christ, their paradigm needs to change in what we see as an apostle, what we see as the apostolic office. That is changing uh, so dramatically, so dramatically. And this is the rise of the apostolic reformation. A uh, reformation is just what I just mentioned. Um, God is intentionally setting this office back on the right path because I believe we've gotten away from what the apostolic truly is and we need to get back in focus focus back to the basics and the basics is the word of God God has laid a foundation already we don't need to be looking at other preachers and teachers uh, other preachers in the in the ministry and thinking that that is the model of what or the blueprint of what we should go by but no we should go by the blueprint that has already been laid out and I believe it's my heart to reveal the brute the blueprint to let, allow us as the body of Christ both Gentiles and Jews alike both saved and unsaved to bring them the foundation back bring the uh, the basics right back to the foundation because Jesus Christ already laid it and I, when I say the apostolic I'm talking about those who are Christ Christ filled filled with the Holy Spirit uh, those who do Christ's work out there in the world and and I believe right now we're in such a transition that uh, the teachers are rising up uh, and and I was I, I was trained by, you know, people who didn't have the capacity to train, who didn't feel like training. You know, I, I, I believe God is removing the Saul's and he's removing the kingdom of Saul. He's removing everything that has to do with Saul's. And right now in this hour, I'm speaking it forth that the Davidic apostles are rising and the Davidic apostles are those Davids. God is bringing the Davids right now in this hour. He's calling those Davidic apostles who have a heart for the worship, who have a heart to train to equip to mentor to coach who have the heart to seek after God's face seek after his his mind his thoughts and and those when when, when I say ministry a uh, uh, worship when you're in worship, worship is the best experience ever because you really get to know the heart of God in worship. And that's why the, the Davidic apostles are rising in worship. They, they know it and they feel it. I was having some uh, connection issues, um, so excuse that. But um, I believe back to what I was saying about the apostolic teachers, I believe God is bringing forth those apostolic teachers. He's bringing forth those who teach. He's bringing forth those who train, who, who are truly called to the fivefold but are hidden the teachers who won't wake, you know, those who are sleeping, who are slumbering. So I want to wake you up out of your slumber in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so that you may teach boldly, you may train boldly, you may mentor boldly, and that your heart won't be filled with bitterness because of those before you that have trained you inaccurately, that have trained you uh, badly, but God has allowed you to find your way. Holy Spirit has uh, laid out the path so that you can find your way. And so now when you come on the scene, you will teach what you have not been taught you will teach to those people what people have not taught to you you will train people in a capacity where no one have trained you no one have uh, 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 coached you you will train in such a dimension you will coach and equip in such a dimension that you will just shift paradigms you will teach and equip the word with them the word of God and I truly believe that this word is for those who are apostolic and we are all supposed to be apostolic that's kingdom uh, uh, and I believe that God is shutting down the uh, the Saul's the religious system God is shutting them down and now it is time for the rising of the Davidic apostles those David to rise up those Davidic apostles I believe this 2017 was the year that they are getting ready they are equipped God is releasing them God is sending them forth and and I truly believe that uh, uh, this is a such a uh, um, such a strong timing such a um, such a timing for the teachers to rise up such a timing and um, I truly believe that uh, I truly believe the word of the Lord I truly believe that the apostolic teachers are coming forth, those those who have that paradigm and that mindset and the heart to teach people. 
in all capacity, in all levels. And I believe they will, they're will they infiltrating these different mountains in this hour, the seven mountains of business and government and arts and media and, and education and religion, that they are just overthrowing Saul's systems, that God is allowing them to go in and overthrow Saul's system so that the kingdom of God can truly be established. And that's what the apostolic does. It overthrows the religious systems, those traditions and religions and all oh, what we've done it this way for years years but God is establishing something that we we won't recognize what he's what some people have been doing it okay God is just gonna just just switch everything up switch everything up to, uh, to the point where people just is unrecognizable so I just believe that God is just calling those teachers forth and I'm calling you for teacher whoever you are whoever will watch this I'm calling you for teacher of the fivefold and that's the the mission of the fivefold is to equip to train to release and uh, I've been in a ministry where uh, the so-called apostle did not equip did not teach or train but that's a paradigm of Saul that doesn't want to cheat to teach or equip or train or mentor or um, you know give people the tools and that's what teachers do they equip you with the tools the knowledge so that you can uh, uh, do your job with accuracy and without uh, without um, error that's why we need real teachers so that we can do what we're called to do without error so we won't have any erroneous doctrine. So we're not tossed and turned by any wind of doctrine, but the teachers should be going out, the apostolic teachers, truly teaching the word of God and truly changing the way people think. And, and we need this rise in Jesus' mighty name. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and just say that uh, very quickly that this is an apostolic reformation uh, that God is doing with intentionality of setting this office back on the right path. You know, God is making those corrections and improvements to what we know as the apostolic and the apostolic office. And um, many you think, you know, could be a uh, many you think as a teacher could truly be an apostle many of you think you know as a prophet you know I've been I've been mislabeled so much people has thought that I was so many <laughs> different offices it, it, it is just amazing to me because th there's not a there's not a, a, a particular focus because I'm I am to flow in different dimensions and realms that's what I do if if God needs a teacher I step in and be a teacher if God needs a prophet to prof to prophetically prophesy that's what I do there's different facets and realms that um, that I function in that people have tried to label me or they've tried to put a name on me they tried to and they just can't figure it out because you're not going to figure it out uh, um, but I I'm gonna flow as the as the Spirit of God gives me unction to and 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 that's what I believe is, is God is doing in this hour that he's just rearranging and changing the whole the whole thing and I just give God all the glory I give God all the glory. I give God all the praise. So um, I do want to invite you to my time of teaching on uh, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. I may come on maybe five minutes before, but I do want to uh, encourage you to join me uh, on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, I'll be doing dream and vision and number interpretations and giving uh, instruction of the Lord uh, and regarding that area that God has graced me to flow in uh, apostolically so I, I I'd encourage you it will be a time of equipping it will be a time of teaching um, I believe that God has graced me to teach um, very innovatively so where it's definitely not like anybody you have ever heard it will be so different uh, that you will be you know changed you will be equipped so I encourage you to follow that teaching uh, take notes get your pen and paper ready because God has definitely given me a word um, of teaching to equip you so um, I just uh, can't wait to see you again on Tuesday at 10 a.m. live here on Facebook um, I will be ready to teach you and train you and equip you in those in that area um, uh, uh, MMOC that's my daughter. MMOC, Misha's Ministry of Christ, is uh, trying to acquire a building. Hey, Mama Bear. Say hi. Why? Say hi, Mama. Why you don't want you? I got that. See, I see that smile. Look at that baby girl. Look at that baby girl. Okay.
she she wants my attention but I, i'm gonna go ahead and sign off uh bless you guys bless you all i love you in jesus name uh may you come forth powerfully teachers may you feel this this word that is not my word that is god's word the holy spirit may uh, speak to you in your even in your dreams as you're sleeping he will equip you and and lead you and direct your steps in Jesus mighty name and I just release a Holy Ghost fire upon your teaching ministry that you will come forth fully awakened in the glory to teach to train to equip to mentor in Jesus mighty name I release this prophetic message this prophetic word powerfully may it touch your ears your eyes and your heart your soul in Jesus mighty name I loose the blood of Jesus over you teachers I loose the blood of Jesus over over you so that you may go forth powerfully in your calling amen and amen well i, I bless you all and uh i gotta go see you all later and i will hopefully see you on tuesday at 10 a.m bye all blessings